so today we will be discussing about uh, how to calculate uh, uh, precision and recall for multi class problems so we must have heard of like if anyone has worked in data science stream we must have heard of the terms uh, the matrix precision and recall uh, but most of the time we have used them just for binary classification problems but when the problem comes from multi class problem where we have multiple classes coming in rather than a binary class we must know how precision and recall are calculated so uh, given the formula of precision that is true positive upon true positive plus false positive so what is a true positive a true positive is a class which is actually one and is detected as one as well a false positive which is a class zero but is detected as positive recall in the formula for recall we again have the same similar terms uh, true positive upon true positive plus false negative so as we have explained uh, true positive already a false negative is the one which is positive but has been taken as negative by the system so together we can understand ki what is the formula for precision and recall but a thing that you must have missed out is that it does it does take in just two classes zero and one what about if we have multiple classes coming in and they, they that is the place where we need some modification in the formula for calculating precision recall for multi multi classes we have two categories one is macro averaging and other is micro averaging so we'll first move towards macro averaging before that let's assume we have a system where we need to classify image as urgent normal and spam now looking at this matrix it's pretty easy to understand uh, each column gives us the idea about the total number of urgent normal and spam mails and the rows gives us an idea about what has been outputted by the system so for example total number of urgent mails in the gold data set is 8 plus 5 plus 3 uh, that is 16 similarly for normal it is 10 plus 60 plus 30 that is 100 and for spam that is 251 so in the actual data set we have uh, 16 urgent 100 normal and 251 spam mails well likewise uh, the system output has been a bit different so the system is able to get on about uh, 19 as urgent 115 as normal and 230 uh, 33 as spam mails now how to segregate then how to calculate precision we will be moving ahead so it's pretty easy what we will do is we will pick up a class uh, and set it as 1 in assume the binary classification problem and rest of the classes as 0 and we'll follow the same formula as we have for precision and recall so all the urgent mails that is 16 uh, the system is able to detect only 8 as urgent also the remaining classes the system has detected as urgent are like actually belong 10 to normal and 1 to spam so eventually what will happen is that these 8 plus 10 plus 1 is the total number of uh, samples that the system has detected as urgent that is 19 so uh, for us the true positive value would be 8 because out of all the urgents it is able to take 8 as correctly and the remaining that is 10 plus 1 would fall over form our false positive that is they didn't belong to the class but actually the system detected them so following the precision formula we will have true positive upon true positive plus false positives so false positives would be 10 plus 1 and true positive would be 8 and this forms the precision for urgent class only now moving to the second class that is precision for normal class so out of all the normals uh, the system is able to detect 60 mails as normal so that becomes a true positive for precision for normal class and similarly the remaining two that is 5 plus 50 becomes our uh, false positives now now going back to how to calculate macro uh, recall so first of all we will calculate recall for each of the class so if you remember the formula it was like true positive upon true positive plus false negatives a false negative is a class that was actually true but the system detected it as false so for example out of all the 16 urgent mails that we have the system is correctly able to detect just eight of them and it was not able to detect uh, the remaining eight as urgent so what will happen is that the false negative for recall for urgent becomes 8 5 plus 3 and the true positive is actually eight similarly if you like follow up with the spam column so out of all the spam mails that is 251 it is able to detect 200 as actual spam mails and 51 as non spam mails that are actually spam that is that becomes a false negative count for spam so that is why following the formula 
uh, true positive upon true positive plus false negative that constitute 50 plus 1. Now what we need to do is that after calculating precision and the call for each class separately uh, next we need to do is to average out these values uh, as you can see here uh, for uh, the precision that we have calculated above for respective classes has been averaged out and the final value that we get as points uh, is becomes the precision for the entire system now. Next we will be discussing about micro averaging. So above as we saw uh, we calculated precision and the call for each class separately and eventually we average that value out. In micro averaging we are following a different technique. So what we are trying to do here is to calculate the total sum of total, uh, to, uh, true positives, the total sum of true negatives, the total sum of false positives and total sum of true neg uh, false negatives in the entire system and then calculate just one precision in the call. So for example uh, looking at class 1 as urgent and uh, uh, urgent equals becomes our uh, uh, tag equals to 1 and the remaining two classes becomes 0 for now. So if you see uh, in that way so what eventually is doing is that true urgent becomes 8 and the remaining the labels that has been detected if you remember this table are 11. So what we did is that uh, for each class uh, for each class we have calculated true positives, true negatives, false positives and false negatives separately we have, but we haven't calculated any numbers yet. So we tried figuring out these four uh, numbers for each class separately and then we added them up to find the total number of true positives, total number of true negatives total number of false positives and total number of true negatives for the entire system and eventually we followed the same formula as uh, followed for binary precision that is true positives upon true positive plus false positives but here what would happen is that uh, true positives uh, resembles the total number of true positives detected, uh, detected by the system and not depending upon the class so uh, eventually what we did is that the true positive count become true urgent detected true normal detected and true spam detected that is 200 plus 60 plus 8 that becomes our 268. Similarly uh, the system detected as urgent but they are not urgent uh, so that becomes 11 plus 55 plus 33 uh, that becomes 99 eventually you get a 99 here. So following this formula event what we are doing is that in micro averaging we are just calculating one metric for all the classes but after pooling these values. Uh, and micro precision comes here to be 0.73. If you remember, uh, in case of macro averaging, for the same problem, we get precision equals to 0.6. Uh, we will be doing for uh, recall, we are first of all accumulating all these values and following the same formula as for binary precision or binary recall. Uh, so that's it for micro averaging. So the last question that remains is which method is better? So if you remember, like the example that we discussed. Uh, precision in case of micro averaging was 0.73 while in case of macro averaging was 0.6. Again if you have missed out, uh, if you remember closely so precision for class urgent was 0.42 while for class normal also it was not that high 0.52 just better than a random classifier. So uh, if you look at closely the value for uh, micro averaging is pretty high 0.73 as compared to macro averaging. So if you can look that uh, it says that key Micro averaging is really moved by majority class. So, if your class, is, uh, like if your data set is imbalanced, it might be the case that micro averaging might be uh, heavily influenced by the majority class. While in case of macro averaging, it is trying to give equal weightage to all the classes. That should be the case. So, uh, in the end of the day, uh, macro averaging do has some advantages over micro averaging, but eventually, if the system looks to be balanced, you can also opt out for micro-averaging.